Welcome to American Happy Talk for speakers of other languages. I'm Trenor Laurie. The nuances of American English are different even from British English uh, or English that you'll learn from any other country. So today I'm going to show you and demonstrate pronunciation and enunciation, the way the words are pronounced here in America, and enunciation is how you use your mouth to say them. Also, we'll be talking about phonetics, and that is the way the letters sound within the word, and also show you some American slang. Phonetics is the sound a letter makes within a word. We might say A, B, C, D, but A is actually pronounced A, A, and A. For example, abstain, acorn, and awesome, A, A, A. That's phonetics. B is B, like baby. C is K, -s, like conjure, and cinema, K, S. And D is D, like day. That's the phonetics for this session. The many faces of hello. In America, we can say hello many different ways. For example, hello, <laughs> hi, hiya, hey, hey you. Howdy. Howdy's a little less formal, obviously. Howdy do, even less formal. It's kind of fun and whimsical. Good morning. Morning. What's up? Sup. How's it going? Well, hello. Why, hello there. Greetings. Look what the cat dragged in. <laughs> of course, that would be a humorous way of saying hello to a friend. American slang is very different from lots of other places, as you probably have experienced. For example, writing code is a piece of cake. It doesn't really have anything to do with chocolate cake. It just means it's easy. It's simple. The whole idea was a bust. That means it didn't work. It was a failure. Don't get so bent out of shape. Another way to say that would be chill. In other words, calm down. Take it easy. I almost fell asleep at the computer after pulling an all-nighter. That means they worked all night. Let me have a go at it. That means give me a chance to try it. I think he's a nut. Or I think he's a doofus. Or I think he's a goof. Those are all ways of saying I think the person is silly. This is what I call unhappy talk. This is tricky pronunciation and enunciation. So these are words that usually trip up speakers of other languages. Vegetables. It's not vegetable here. We just say vegetables. Vegetarian. Veggies. Thought. Though. Think. And here's your tongue twister for today. She sells seashells down by the seashore. Again, she sells seashells down by the seashore. See if you can say it quickly without tripping yourself up. That's all for this time. There'll be three more sessions to follow. We'll see you next time. Bye.